Hi everyone and welcome to another Power BI video. Today we're going to learn how to use Synoptic to import customized maps, floor plans or images and use them as filters to slice and dice our data in Power BI. So if this is something you would like to learn, keep on watching. So this is our warehouse floor plan and our goal is to bring this image into Power BI as an interactive visual that will act as a filter in our report so that when I select one of the shelves, it will filter all the other visuals accordingly. To do this, we will need to use a custom visual called Synoptic. So this is the report I will be using today. I have all my imported tables already. I have created a few measures. So total stock, total sales, total components, clothing, bikes, accessories. And now we will need to import our custom visual from our marketplace by clicking the three dots here, get more visuals. Now I'm going to type Synoptic. Synoptic panel will appear by OKVis. OK this is the one we need to add. So click add. OK, it's just saying that a new visual was imported. Now if I drag this into my report, And because I'm measuring the levels of stock, I have the total stock measure created here and I will drag it to our measure field. And when we do this, as you can see, we have two options available here, local maps and gallery. This would allow us to import our customized floor plan. But first we will need to match the areas in our floor plan to the shelves we have in our report. And to do this we will need to go to our browser and type Synoptic Design just like this. This screen will pop up. We will now browse our floor plan image there. So I'm using this guy. We have two options to define our shelf area by using the magic wand that will automatically discover areas for you or we can use the selection option that will allow you to manually draw the area yourself. For example, I'm drawing here the area number three. So we need to do this for all the shelves that we have in our report. I'm going to do this in fast forward just to be quick. Perfect. So now we have 27 areas defined and the only thing we need to do is to go back to our report, check our table for our stock table to see how we have the shelves defined. So here we have them, all the shelves available in our report. They are defined by letters, so we'll have to do the same correspondence in our floor map. So if we go back to our website, we will need to go one by one and change number one for the shelf A, two for B, three for C, and so on. Okay, so now that we have all our areas defined, we can go ahead and export this to Power BI. Save as image. I'm gonna call this Warehouse 2. Save. Now we can go back to Power BI. Select local maps. Import the floor plan. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just going to drag the shelf name into our category. Perfect. So here it's already showing me the shelves where I do have stock. You see the blue squares there, so shelf D, 3172. And the shelves in black, they have zero stock. Okay, so I'm going to do some formatting around this. So I want to be able to see the data labels. 
I'm going to center the name, upsize the text a little bit, perfect. I'm going to change this to use different color. I'm going to remove the title, perfect. So now let's check if our visual is working. So let's say I select shelf C. Okay, in shelf C we have only components 1210. So now if I decide to select shelf I, okay, I have everything pretty much in shelf I. Bikes, accessories, components and clothing. Perfect. Now let's build another visual to make our report more appealing. So let's say a bar chart to show us our stock levels by shelf. Okay, perfect. So I want this to be sorted by shelf. Perfect. And now I wanted to format this so that we can see Let's say if our stock levels are less than 10,000, I want to see it red. Between 10,000 and 20,000 orange, 20,000 and 30,000 yellow, and more than 30,000 green, for example. We can select the visual, go to our formatting panel, data colors, and here we have this FX square where we can apply some conditional formatting. So I'm picking rules. I'm, this is going to be based on our total stock. So I want to say if the stock levels are greater than zero in number, but less than 5,000, let's say, I want it to be red. If they're greater than 5,000 but less than 10,000, I want it to be orange. If they're greater than 10,000 and less than 20,000, I want it to be yellow. And if they're greater than 20,000 and less than 30,000, I want it to be green. And if they're greater than 50, sorry, 30,000 and less than 50,000, let's say, I want it to be green. Okay, so let me just change this to number. Okay. So that's it. Our personalized floor plan is now embedded in our report and we can interact with it to manage our inventory. This is very handy to manage our stock levels. For example, all of our shelves in red have less than 5,000 units of stock. So we may want to increase the stock levels in those shelves. This is also very useful to locate stock. For example, if I want to see where all my accessories are, I can click on the helmet there and I can see that all my accessories are in shelf R, L and I. And in the other hand, if I want to see, for example, what do I have in shelf R, by clicking on it, I can see that I have 805 units of components and 2,530 units of accessories. I find this visual super cool and very, very useful. Of course, here I'm using it to manage the inventory levels in a floor plant, but this can also be used for a store, for a supermarket, you name it. So I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below if you try it out and see you in the next video.